Okay, temperature we have is 14 degrees. Starting mileage, 43145, 43145.3. Starting mileage, 43145.3. Talk about the last part of the story first. Oh, and by the way, before I start that off, um, I have received in the last two weeks quite a number of decals, which I will get around to. I've been wanting to make sure I got everything that was coming in that I was aware of, but I do have them in a nice little stack, and I'm going to do a video about that. Um, hopefully, the beginning of next week. So, all of you that have sent decals, thank you, and. Uh, try to be patient and I will get videos up of everyone I have up till that period of time and also by the time you see this video anybody that has asked for my decal and has not received it as yet um, let me know and I'll resend because I think everything I've sent no matter where it goes to should be should have been received by now so anyway here's the end story with the Obamacare I went into the site and totally deleted my account. It's gone. The last suggestion I got when I've been talking to my congresswoman, whose name happens to be Tammy Duckworth. I actually was talking to one of her staff members named Susan. And uh, I guess She's in regular meetings about the Obamacare website because it's causing so much trouble for members of Congress and they're getting so many calls from people saying, uh, how come I can't sign up, how come I can't get approved, blah, blah, blah. So she said after coming out of the last meeting, she called me about uh, five days ago, I would guess. Yesterday was when I made my last attempt and then gave up and closed the account down. But she said she was in a meeting and they said that most of the problems were ironed out and there's a good chance... I could just go in and go through the website and correct some of the problems and get the issues sorted. And some of what she said was true. There were parts of the website that weren't even operating close to correctly before that were finally operating correctly. So I can't say they haven't done anything or haven't improved it, but it's uh, still very much a work in progress. They still had no practical way if you have to make any kind of editing or change anything you originally put in there. Um, they still have no practical way of dealing with that. I mean, the other problem was uh, even at the end when I supposedly had everything taken care of and verified my, did my digital signature, which you just type your name in and that's valid as an e-signature. Uh, it said identity verified again and it's like you know everything's done everything's ready to go but you know I didn't buy it at all because I'd seen that screen three times before and uh, sure enough logged out logged back in and uh, just as before goes back to in, pro in process so I just kind of got fatigued out after dealing with it that I'm still yet to decide. I mean, maybe I'll take another shot at it from scratch. I mean, I've seen it through this far. Why not just keep on going? But it's frustrating. And what I see really is the main problem isn't even really so much the Obamacare. I haven't even gotten that far to even give it a shot. I mean, I'm not going to say I like or I dislike something when I haven't even given it a shot. But, I mean, let's be honest. It doesn't inspire a lot of confidence when you can't even get signed up for it. And it's so difficult to do. So that being as it may, but uh, the basic root problem behind all of this is uh, people relying on computers too much. People just totally and completely are acting like they are subservient to the computer system. In other words, if the computer can't solve it, no human being is going to step forward and make the decision. I noticed that started happening right at the time um, when retail establishments got the new computerized registers and stuff like that. 
some of you may not be old enough to know, but um, you used to be able to, when I worked at a grocery store, if we lost electricity, you could still keep on doing the transactions. You could get a little, these uh, machines were electrical, but they were also mechanical systems. So what you could do is you'd pull a hand crank out, the, out of the drawer and you could just keep on keeping on checking the customers out and buying merchandise. But now you go into a Walmart or a Target or a Kmart, if they lose power, they just hustle everybody up to the front and basically say the store is closed. There's no concept that you can, you know, keep on actually using human beings to do the transactions. And I can see the point if it's uh, just for a limited amount of time, but suppose you're in a real disaster scenario and people want to be able to get supplies and stuff like that from a store like Target or Walmart. Are you just going to keep the store closed and not let people get any stuff to ensure their survival for weeks and weeks on end or maybe even months and let stuff just uh, basically spoil and rot on the shelves. I mean, people have to realize the, the computers are a servant to us. We're not a servant to the computer. And I think as I talk to these uh, Obamacare people, and they're, and they're most, for the most part, 90% of them are very, very nice people wanting to try to help us, wanting to try to help me when I was on the website trying to get things sorted out. <laughs> So it's not that, but they just don't really have the concept that, and, and they don't have the power either lower down like that, but I think the people higher up keep that same philosophy going too, that you just, uh, if the computer doesn't do it for us and give us the correct answer, then we're just not able to handle it. And so, uh, in a way, if we had a disaster scenario, and people didn't realize, hey, you could actually have human beings in a disaster situation, go in after a week or two, open a store up, let people actually shop for merchandise, give handwritten receipts, <laughs> and rather than letting people suffer in a disaster, you could actually have human beings take care of it, and they don't really have to have the computers to get them to do something. I mean, the sense of helplessness without the computer telling us what to do and how to do it it's just absolutely ridiculous. And I can foresee a scenario in the near future where that's going to really, really hurt and harm people really, really bad. And uh, maybe it'll be too late. I don't know. Maybe it'll be enough to wake people up, but maybe it'll actually reach the point to where it's actually too late. <clears throat> but anyway, that's my sense of what's going on with the Obamacare situation. Ending mileage. 4, 3, 1, 4,